couple of things that uh, there's a lot of confusion about in different religions and different beliefs and all that are, one, who is Jesus? And two, what did he come here for? And in a couple of verses that stood out to me on that in my Bible reading here is right here in uh, Matthew 1, 21 through 23. So I want to go through those and go right to the Word of God, not my opinion or what I think or what I've been taught or what I've believed, but what does God say? What does God say in His Word? So the context of this is the birth of Jesus. And picking up in 20, verse 21 right here, Matthew 1, 21, it's talking about uh, Jesus' mother, Mary. And so the Word of God says this, She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. Right there, God tells us plainly, why did Jesus come here? To save his people from their sins. Now, that's a huge thing. That's a huge thing, because in God also tells us in his word that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, not just sins that we feel are bad as opposed to sins that aren't that bad, but God says that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, God's perfection. God is perfect and we aren't, so we fall short of that and we have all sinned against God in some way or another, gone against his ways, against his laws, against his commands. And then another place, God tells us that, that the wages of sin is death, which is, is a big deal because death there is talking about a spiritual death, which means a separation from God. And we're all going to spend eternity in one of two places, either heaven or hell. You know, a lot of people don't want to talk about these days, talk about hell. But if we're separated from God, that's the only other place to go. God is in heaven and hell is being separated from God. But God didn't want that. God created us to be in relationship with him. And he loved us too much to leave us that way. So right here, we see that Jesus came to save us from our sins so that we wouldn't be separated from God. So it's like, you know, but that tells us why Jesus came, but how could Jesus do that? Um, how could he save us from our sins? Well, picking up in verse 23 here, all this took place to fulfill what the Lord had, had said through the prophet. Now this prophet that God is telling us about here is Isaiah. And Isaiah prophesied this about Jesus around 700 years before Jesus was ever born into this world. 700. 700 years he spoke this about Jesus, which was being fulfilled right now 700 years later. So what was that prophecy? Verse 23. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. So who is Jesus? Jesus is God. Even his disciples, they saw him doing miracles, raising the dead, healing people, doing this miraculous stuff, and they still couldn't totally comprehend who he really was, you know, and asking him to show them the Father. Jesus said, you know, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father, because the Father is in me and I'm in the Father. They are God. Jesus is God. God, that's how he could save us from our sin. He loved us so much that he didn't want to leave us separated from him because of our sin. He wanted to make a way for us to be able to come back into relationship with him. So God himself came down here to save us from our sins. Now there's so much more to this story and so many directions you could go in, but who is Jesus? He is God. That's what a lot of religions miss. They think he's a good teacher, good person, a prophet. Although he was all those things, he was much more than that. He is God. Jesus is God who came down here to save us from our sins because we couldn't do that ourselves. 
because the wages of sin is death, and if we die in our sins, we're, we die separated from God. So praise God that He Himself came down here in His love for us and gave us a way. If we trust in Jesus with our life, not just our Sundays, Sunday mornings, or our Wednesday nights, or our prayer time, or when we read the book, but our life, when we trust Him, when we turn from our ways and turn to His ways, we can be saved from our sins and be able to be right with God again and be able to spend an eternity with God and not have to be separated from Him. Praise the Lord. Praise God for what He has shown us and told us in His Word.